Hey there, it's Minecraft Grand, the Geeky Minecrafter, bringing you another in the Let's Play series. Today we're on the Archimon server, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a small footprint cow farm that will let me have an ongoing supply of uh, leather. Uh, I'm going to need the leather for the books, I'm going to need the books for the bookshelves, I need the bookshelves for the enchanting. So if you're ready, come on, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I'm here in my base. I have added a few chests. Uh, got some uh, organization going on here. I have, um, you know, I've, I've been fishing, been doing some AFK. As you can see, <laughs> I have quite a bit of uh, storage here. In fact, my raw fish is, let's see, one, two. Uh, you know what? It looks like somebody came and got some. I mean, that's... That's perfectly fine. I offered it to them, but it uh, looks like they have come and uh, pulled quite a bit out. So that's good. Uh, I did have three and a half chests, double chest worth of raw fish. Uh, I do still have one, two, three, four, four and a half chests of saddles. So the <laughs> fish farm has been pretty effective for me. Um, so effective that I'm getting a bunch of trash down in here. And so what I've done is I've created a disposal system, okay? So with the switch off, it just holds it right here. Once I've had a chance to go through and look at everything that I want, get rid of, you know, take out the things that I want to keep, uh, put them in the chest where they go, when I've got them all cleaned out, I just flip this switch, and everything that remains is being dropped down into the lava and disposed of. So, I mean, what I was doing before was grabbing it and running over here and throwing it in, in, the, um, in the incinerator. But, uh, boy, that got real time-consuming, especially since um, I pretty much fill up one, two, three, four, five chests during an overnight AFK session. So, I had to do something. It was just getting out of control. So, let's put these enchanting books up. Okay, let's put these rods up. And then let's talk about what we're going to do uh, for this cow farm. Um, now I am getting I am getting some leather, as you can see. You know this is this has come directly out of the the fish farm, but it's just not quite enough for me. I mean I'm ready to ramp it up, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to need some building blocks. Uh, I'm going to need some slime. I need a piston. I need a bucket of lava. Let's see what we have. I have the bucket of lava here. I need one ball of slime. I need a little bit of wood. Uh, I'm going to need a little bit of cobble. Come here. Come here. Let's see. Uh, pistons are... Is there iron in pistons? You know what? Why can I never remember how to make a piston? I have to look it up every time. I don't, I don't know what that's about. Uh, can you say... Old timers? <laughs> that that could be the problem. Um, look, I've been working on my second set of armor, uh, building them up. Somebody made the suggestion that you need to have a different set for when you go into the nether that is focused on fire. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm putting fire protection on uh, on the second set of leather or the second set of armor. Now I do have a pretty good set of armor here. My helmet off the hook. Uh, but my um, chest plate and leggings, just protection for. Now, I do have depth strider, feather falling, and fire protection on my boots. Uh, and when I'm running around, <laughs> even if I take all my armor off, I still have my boots on just because, you know, I tend to fall off of things. I, I don't have a real good head for heights. Let's see. Tell you what, I'm going to. Well, let's just see if I can remember. This is crazy. I think there's iron. Oh my god, I cannot believe I can't remember. That would be too easy, right? Okay. Hang on a second, I'm going to look it up. Now, see, I should have remembered that. Really. Okay, well, crap, guess what? Technical difficulties and then some. 
So here's what happened. I was recording the video, you saw it, right up until the point where I alt tabbed over, you know, paused the video, alt tabbed over to look at the wiki, found out how to make the piston, made the piston, continued the video, did the whole nine yards, got through 30 minutes of footage, okay? Uh, basically went out to the desert, found two cows, um, brought them back, you know, managed to get them in, built the farm, all the hilarious stuff, okay? Trying to get the cows in this little one white hole. Of course, this wasn't here at the time. So I go to edit it, and guess what? Camtasia, because I was in full screen, hung on the back to game menu. So although you could see me talking and you hear me narrating, and I told you every step of the way of what I did, you don't actually see it. So there's that. So here's what I thought I'd do. Rather than just scrap all the footage that I had up to that point, I thought I'd take you through the rest. Visually, just explain it. Um, I did have... Oh, hold on. <laughs> hold the phone. Um, I'm not set up for going outside. Let's Let's change that. Oh, and I went and got this um, this piece of fence to put over here over the um, over the chest area, so I don't actually, you know, fall. Now I can still let's see. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> I uh, I fell in it earlier and had to had to dig my way out. So let's do that. Okay. So briefly, let me just let me just explain. Underneath this block, there is a dispenser, a water dispenser. When you press the button, it raises the cows. When you press the button again, the cows go down. Underneath this block is a sticky piston. Now, I've seen it done with a regular piston, but I found that whenever I do it with the regular piston, uh, if something weird goes wrong, it just stops working for no apparent reason. And it, it has to be rebuilt in order to begin working again. I don't know if it's a redstone issue or a bug in 1.9. I don't know. But I have found that the sticky piston is a lot more reliable. So there's a sticky piston down there, which, as you know, is a transparent block. So when this button is pushed, any baby cows that are in there are being grabbed by the piston retracting and being forced through the block into a void underneath this lava. The void is uh, there. It's being held up by a sign. Let's see. I think I can... Show that to you here, maybe. Drop down one. One more. Okay, you see what I'm talking about? There's a void. So this is the back of the piston. The baby cows are being sucked in right here. They they wait here until they grow up. They hit the lava. Uh, they caught, catch on fire. They're cooked. Their meat and um, leather drops into this chest. Life is good. You with me? Okay, so let's put this back. Yeah, wasn't that fun? I, I gotta tell you, I threw everything in the trash. I was so mad. Uh, but in looking back on it, you know, there was ten or twelve minutes at the beginning where I took you through some various things, and I hated to lose all that. Now out here, uh, let's see. <laughs> no more fire for sun. Okay. Here, let's just stop that. I won't stop the baby zombies. So I was running around out here and um, found two cows way out in the desert over there. Uh, I had uh, I had wandered all the way around. I mean, you know, there, there used to be a lot of cows around here. I think Remzies and uh, PBT and Sun moving into the area has uh, thinned the herd, so to speak. So I couldn't find a cow out here. I went way on the other side of that mountain. I went over to Remzi's house. Now he has some cows, and uh, you can hear me <laughs> on the on the recording. Basically, you know, thinking I could I can pull two cows out of there, but I needed permission, so I waited. I left, went back, tried to reach Remzi's. Couldn't reach him. <coughs> oh my God! <coughs> oh, that scared me so bad. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Where's my sword? It's number nine. No, it's number eight. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my God. Stop. Cheese and rice. 
Where did they come from and how did they survive? Oh. Okay, this just goes to show you I don't need to be outside in the dark. I hate this. So anyway, bottom line, I'm sorry I lost all that footage, but rather than just chunk what I had, I decided to come back, give you a little quick tour, maybe show you mechanically out here, not during the dark, obviously, but out here what it looks like um, above the ground. And then that way, if you want to build one, you can. It's a really good design. Of course, I won't be pausing the video to figure out how to make another piston. Oh, my gosh. Oh, do, I, do I not have any... What do I do with my redstone? Oh, there we are. Okay, so I need one piece of redstone, one piece of iron. I need three planks. Oops, that's four. Yes, I can count. I need four pieces of cobble and one piece of slime. I need uh, two dispensers, so let me just grab that so I don't have to do this a second time. I think I have a bow in here. Okay. So let's make um, a dispenser first. I need one more piece of redstone, don't I? Whoops! Here. I just know better, right? Uh, this is the piston. Okay, and then let's make it sticky. Okay, so a sticky piston, a dispenser, a bucket of water, a bucket of lava, one sign. Let's grab a sign. Uh, a hopper. Can we use our imagination on that, or should I make another hopper? Um, okay, we're going to use a half slab to represent a hopper. I I'm just building it outside to show you. Let's see. Can I sleep? Is everybody asleep? Oh, it helps a lot if you can type. While I'm waiting on them, I'll have a little sip of tea. Good guys. Who else online? Oops. Come on. We could do it. Hello. Was Aquamouse? Does he not have a? Uh, I guess he didn't have a bed. I'll pause. Okay, so it looks like Sun is AFK, so we we can't do it uh, right now. I'm pretty well lit up. Of course, they might drop in on me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So. Assuming this is the area that you want it to, to be in, right? So we'll put a, our sidebar on here. This is going to be the dispenser. Sorry, I actually did that wrong. I'm scared to let my tools get uh, too far out. So this is the dispenser. One block over is the um, sticky piston. Point it in. Okay. What are they saying? <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Um, you will need, uh, of course, blocks around this. This this holds everything in, right? Do I not have... I swear I did. Oh, sorry. Not this one. But yes to this one. Okay, so this represents the void where... You know, this, this dirt block is going to be a uh, a hopper, right? It's going to be underneath this block, and it's going to be pointed into a chest. Now, you can do um, reverse stairs here so that, the you know, the back side of the stairs are pointed towards the lava. Uh, th I found that works really well. You can also do glass blocks if you prefer. So you put uh, you put this all the way around. 
Okay, I'm giving myself a way to get up. Okay, you put a button right here, a button right here. You know, let's just do it. Uh, give me some. St oh, a headstone. Good grief. If I'd only known, let's do two. Okay. Okay, so button here, button here. This pumps the water. Press it again, sucks the water up. This fires the piston. And when it retracts, it pulls them in right here. So don't forget your sign on this block right here. Uh, do I, did I bring one right here? Again, that's going to be right above the hopper. Uh, the lava will sit right in this one block area. And that's it. Really small footprint. Uh, and if you if you do this right, you know, you can do it anywhere. Um, you put it out there and you've got unlimited cow, unlimited steak, unlimited everything. So that's my footprint. That's my deal. So I'm sorry you missed the fun of me running around out in the desert and fighting creepers and zombies while I'm looking for cows. Uh, and then dragging the cows back in. And then <laughs> the merry-go-round that we had trying to get them in this hole. What I did was I, I dug this all out. I had created a channel that went all the way around. Let's see, I think it was right here. Yeah. Oh my god! Wrong way! Oh. Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> so, <laughs> that happened. <laughs> I survived it. I don't know how. Uh, I should have filled this in, and I didn't. I got in a hurry to edit the video. Uh, but yeah, so this is where the cows were and I were running around together. Uh, they were playing Ring Around the Rosie. Let's see. Oh my god, I cannot believe that just happened. Now, it just goes to show you, I have really good armor. <laughs> So I was right to not leave the house until I had good armor. Because apparently I can't be trusted. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to run back around here. I'm going to eat some more. Okay, so that happened. Um, yeah. You know, Minecraft is a dangerous game. If you lose focus for just a minute, bad things will happen to you. They, they are always looking to kill you. I don't know what to tell you about that. Uh, other than, be careful. Okay, this is Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter who sometimes makes stupid, stupid mistakes, including technical difficulties with Camtasia. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button. If you didn't, don't tell your friends, okay? Until next time, I'm just going to sign off by saying my signature line, Happy Mining! And for God's sakes, avoid the creepers. <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened.